All right. In this video, hold on, let me get it. Okay. In this video, we have female cries her heart out due to touch starvation. The internet is driving a lot of people to be very delusional about their life. And the need for attention is causing a lot of people to do and say anything for attention. I watched a game today with four, with nine-year-old boys that play basketball and they have tattoos. Their parents are getting them tattoos on their body because they are athletes, but they're still young children. We're starting to treat young kids as if they are adults, and that's done on purpose. All right? That's done on purpose. Let's get to this video. I am really strong. I am really struggling with something, and I want to talk about it, but before I do, I need people, if you were a parent who was like touched out by your children, I do not want to see you in the comments. If you are someone with any kind of neurodivergency and it manifests or shows up as you not liking touch or people touching you, I do not want to see you in the comments, okay? But I am, I, I feel like I'm dying from like touch starvation y'all I don't I, this isn't I don't I don't get hugs I don't know I feel like if I were to get the kind of hug that I fucking really want I would crumble into pieces I I don't how do you deal with that I really like like need to be like touched and I know someone's gonna say like okay go to the salon and get your hair done or get a massage or or get your nails done right so someone can hold your hand none of those people love me see what you're witnessing here is you're witnessing she's saying she needs to be touched what she's suffering from is depression she needs to be loved because that's what depression does. It makes you feel like you're not loved. Your emotion is not feeling love, which means that she's not getting dopamine releases from her body. But she needs to also understand that the separation between man and woman, women wasn't thinking about this when they started the Me Too, when they started feminism. But just like the red pill, all of these trendy things start to die out. And when they start to die out, people start going back to their natural habitat of wanting to be around other people. See why feminism, Me Too, and all the red pill, and all these movements were formed, they were online communities. So with them being online communities, you didn't need to be around anyone. So the online communities kept people inside of their room. The more you stayed in your room and you got attached to these online communities, the more you became more of the matrix. As you got inside of the matrix, you start to lose your connections to physical people. And that's what a lot of people are facing now. It's not just a lot of women that are going to be going through this. You have a lot of men that are going to be doing this as well. So when she says she's having touch starvation, this is what most women are about to go through. Is that they need someone to love them. Even Black Honey, big black, shout outs to Black Honey. When she called in last night, you know, she says, hey, I, I want to be in a relationship. I want somebody to love me. Everybody wants to be loved. Everybody wants to be in a relationship now. But during the past five to ten years, everyone was happy being by themselves. They were claiming to be happy. They was claiming they didn't want a relationship. They wanted to be alone forever and that they can do it alone, especially women who got caught up in this feminine movement. That's what you have going on now. She's going through touch starvation because she's having a mental breakdown to the point where people are not affectionate anymore. We live in a cold, cold world. None of those people, none of those services love me. Right? But I am really, I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling with like, That shit is, <laughs> it could be like maybe a hello, uh, you know, uh, whatever, maybe, um, but it's not enough. You can see the cat lady over there to the left rubbing on a cat. All right, that's the end game for a lot of these ladies out here. You better start waking up, ladies. The transformation is here. See, the women, 
They're going to cry to get attention. They're going to do YouTube videos to get attention. They're going to get out the house and go try to find their attention. I'm telling you, that's what women do. They're going to go and seek it. A lot of guys, you're going to have to learn from that. You're not going to be able to sit in your room too much longer and complain online inside of a dark room. You're going to have to get outside. Because men are suffering this too. People need to get back to interacting with people because the, the matrix has ruined your brain and separated you. All right. He says touching is sexual assault. You're right. She's talking about a relationship point of view. She want a hug. We ain't talking about motherfucker walking down the street and she getting slapped on the booty. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not talking about that. She's talking about intimacy relationship. That's the point of view that she's coming from. So you guys need to stop trying to take. Get him out of here. I'm done with Matrix shit. We speak it from realistic point of views, from a real psychological point of view. She ain't, she ain't speaking from the mindset of walking down the street and someone's trying to slap her butt and do that. That's sexual assault. She's speaking from the mindset of she needs to be loved. And a lot of guys out there, you need to be loved too. You're suffering from depression too. You want to take yourself out the game too. That's where we're at, ladies and jets. You're either going to find happiness or you're going to find a way to blow your mother... I don't know how... I don't know how you... How am I going to go the rest of my life like this? I, I think that that's really hard. I don't... There's no... I'm really, I'm just really struggling. I'm really struggling. But this is the end game. She ain't just representing what women are going to go through. She's representing what a lot of men are going through right now that need to be touched, that need a girlfriend, that need to get out the house, that need to do shit instead of sitting inside the house laughing at their pain because you're going through the pain too. This is the end game, ladies and jets. The agendas have set in. Now you got to find your own happiness. This is it. This is this is what's happening here. This is what's happening with our society. Like I spent like last night just going like this. Come on, man. Wait, 20 minutes. I I yeah, I'm just if anyone else is struggling, what are you what are you doing? Okay, when you get into that state of mind, no one, when you reach depression, nobody can help you but yourself. Those are facts. Those are facts. No one's going to be able to help you unless you fix yourself because the matrix has told you you were supposed to be happy without a man touching you. You're supposed to be happy being single. You're supposed to be happy being alone. You're supposed to be happy not wanting the family. You're supposed to be happy not doing that. But what the matrix didn't tell you was what to do to be happy. The matrix didn't say, all right, you're happy because you're not in a relationship, but you're not happy, but that ain't the only thing, but you're miserable because you have nothing else to do with your life. So now you're finding yourself not happy without a relationship, but you don't know what to become happy doing. That's where people are stuck at. They don't know what's the next step for me to do to be happy because I'm happy I'm not in a relationship. That's where we're at now. Don't worry.